Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to Lakeside and uh, again we've got the um, canal lock in front of us and um, <clears throat> I'm glad to say that we now have movement as regards the water going up and down. Um, I haven't done anything on the lock gates yet, um, that will be the next stage but um, after a lot of trial and tribulations I've actually managed to get it working. Now it's not perfect, this is just as I keep saying proof of concept. Um, so because I've built this all out of polyboard it's not the most accurate um, so when I come to do the correct model um, it will be a lot more accurate and the dimensions will be a lot more accurate. Um, but all I wanted this for was to get, how can I put it, the positioning of the servos, um, the orientation of the servos and to actually get the servos working in tandem to each other. This is purely for the raising and lowering of the water, not the gates. Um, <clears throat> so it's all that sort of thing. Um, now I've got that, I can then now put this to one side as regards the raising and lowering of the water and concentrate on the gates. Because, as I've just said, when I come to build the model proper, it will be a lot more accurate. Um, so I've got the amount of water I want to lift up and down. Um, I've got that correct now for what I want. Um, and yeah, it seems to be working. So um, I will show you this first and then I will take the iPad away. So what I have actually on the iPad before I take it away is a photograph of, I'll just put it up for you. Um, I have a photograph of the lock and I have a servo here and a servo here and they will be for the two gates and I have one servo or one icon uh, here for the raising and the lowering of the water. Although I've got two servos, what I've done, which I'll show you in a minute, I've made up a Y lead so that I can have one icon operating two servos. Um, I wanted to try and do it through a macro but I can't figure out how to do a macro on this particular Z21 um, app. I can do a macro for um, a loco but I can't do somehow, um, I haven't figured it out yet but there's no need to. Um, for doing the water but it makes no difference because what I've done it is actually quite good in the fact that um, the two servos because they are connected to a Y lead operate exactly at the same time exactly at the same speed it just treats it as one servo so <clears throat> the only thing I can't do is position um, the arm independently of each other because if I change the arm of one the position it changes the other because it's all operating from the same channel <coughs> so da -da 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 -da. and that lowers it And that raises it. So let's take this away. Just put it to one side for the moment. I can move this forward and I can zoom in a bit. There you go. That shows it a bit clearer now. <clears throat> so what I've got, well, let's take the barges off for the moment because they'll fall off if I don't. Um, so what I've got, I've just literally black tacked these to the side for the moment 
Um, so I've just got one cable going to number one channel and then I've split that and made that to go to two servos. So that those two servos here and here you can see are operated on number one channel. Um, that's my DCC module there. Um, and that's the way it works at the moment. So what will happen is I can bring a barge in. Now I don't know if you can remember that the lakeside uh, system I've got at the moment. For the, I've got a tunnel up this end um, and this will be at the high end of the water. So the barge will come through the tunnel come into the lock and position itself for the exit which is over to one side and I've done that purely because if another barge is behind it he can draw in next to it and I can have two in the lock at the same time so one entry and exit they are offset uh, so then the sluice gates will open on this side the water will flow in or flow out shall I say and the water level will go down this gate will be closed this gate will be open so no water can come in from the canal this side but obviously the water will come in or flow out from here into the lock into the canal so then the barges can then exit through the exit and go through the canal <coughs> somebody coming in the other way as per normal they can come in I'll do it with this one um, they can come in from the canal side heading towards the tunnel they can come in they can close this gate the um, guillotine gate that can come down this gate will open water will flow through and raise the water level The barge can then manoeuvre out and trundle up through the canal and through the tunnel. So the system works. All I've got to do are the niceties of making this smoother in operation. Um, it's not too bad but it's a bit jittery because of the way I've built it to be honest. It's a bit rough and ready. Um, but I know it works. The speed, um, I can't change the speed anymore, uh, I can't slow it down anymore because of the, um, of the controller here limits me to the speed uh, of what I can do. So it's on its slowest setting at the moment <clears throat> but I do know that I can slow it down even further. There is a method I can use, so I, I have found that out, um, and that won't be until early part of next year um, when I can do that. But that's not a problem. Um, the the issue is getting this thing to work in the first place, which you can see. works perfectly. <clears throat> so to stop any side-to-side -side movement, end-to-end movement, 
what I've done by turning it over. Oh, that's come unstuck. Um, <clears throat> I've put boards down the side of the water level, if you like. Uh, so these ones here, those two, those two, those two, I have put so that it stops any movement that way. And any movement that way, I have put a strengthener bar all the way through. And likewise, on the top here, for the moment, on the... On the on this particular model they're on the top but on the real model they will be underneath because obviously I don't want these two bars showing um, but I put these on after I've built the underneath um, but when I come to do the model I can put those on underneath so this would just be a flat surface if you like of, of water so there we go I've actually got the proof of concept working. It juddered like that because I'd obviously moved it and turned it upside down. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, it's doing everything I wanted it to do. When I come to do the model, I will obviously make the model much more accurate um, in its operation. Uh, but this has solved its first purpose and that was to get the water going up and down. That's all this was for. Um, the nicety of the canal will be done on the real model. But this now proves my point, or my concept if you like, um, of how do I make this water go up and down. And like many of you suggested, in previous videos in your comments you've <laughs> you've suggested many wondrous ways that I could do it I knew right from before I built this how I would do it because I did a lot of work before I even started this concept um, and I've kept to that theory and it works um, so I'm so happy that I've got it to this stage now. So the next part will be looking at going to do the um, guillotine gates. And the way I'm going to be doing that is to have a servo on the top as a motor. And the gates will operate within two channels coming up here let's move this over here we'll have a look at it like that so over the, each edge will be identical so there will be um, like an H channel here and here going up and on one on the inner side of the H channel the gates will go up and down inside the channel so that will give the stability of the gate as it goes up and down and on the outer side will be uh, two options I've got one is push rods like I have on this at the moment or indeed cable operated with um, exactly as I have on the lift where the servo is a continuous rotor and on that rotor I have got basically string or twine which wraps around the rotor and pulls or pushes the gates up and down exactly like the lift works. Now I know that theory or that system works because the lift goes up and down absolutely perfectly. So there's the two options for me. Now I've got two servos identical to what is operating here left over so I will use those first to see if I can get them working um, if not then I'll get two rotary servos um, the other option is to get a linear servo 
um, very much like the servos you find in the class 91s with, with the raising and the lowering of the pantograph. That is done on the inside if you look, it's got a linear motor which goes traverses backwards and forwards in a linear motion um, pushing up the pantograph. That is another option. But because I've got two spare servos, uh, ordinary servos, then I'm going to try those first. If I don't have any luck, then I've got the other two options left open to me. But back to this, then, yeah, I can rest now in the fact that I've got the process correct. and It's up to me to build an accurate model so that it works absolutely perfectly. Um, is the next stage after doing the gates of course but yeah really pleased with it very Heath Robinson but it works there we go so short video but I just thought you would enjoy seeing that I knew I would do it I knew I would Okay people, thanks very much for watching and thank you very much for your comments in, on the previous videos. Uh, please try and refrain if, if you can to say well what you could do is this, what you could do is that. Yes, I'm sure I could, but I do have it pretty much figured out like I had with this um, in my head how I want it to go. So although I appreciate your comments on how you think I should do it, just leave it for me for the moment. Let, give me a chance to do it. If I get stuck, I can always come back and say, hey guys, I'm stuck. What would you recommend? Okay. Bye for now, people, and uh, have a great weekend. Bye for now. Bye.